So, Playground with Artificial Intelligence for Generating Images, where you can generate 1,000 images every day for free. So let me show you how it works. You can see here a pretty simple interface. There's a gallery at the very beginning where you can see very, very interesting images that are very beautiful. And as you can see, this AI creates really unique works that are just created by Playground. No other programs are used. There are two ways to create images here. First, you can click on any of these images. That will give you information about that image. And here you have a remix button that will load all those settings. But be warned that some creators hide their original work cues and we won't see their techniques. So these remixes may not always work correctly and you may get a completely different result. Another way to use this page is to click the Create button here, and when you do, you'll find that it has a very clear and simple user interface. So you don't get all these settings that you normally have in Stable Diffusion. Let's take a quick walk through the interface. On the left side is the tooltip, and below that, when you turn on the negative tooltip, you also have a negative tooltip box that will expand and hide the more text you write. Above is a filter that helps us stylize our picture. Below is the image to image item, which you can use to load an image from your hard drive or to draw an image that you can use as inspiration. Now on the right side, you can select one of the different models. You have Stable Effusion 1.5, Stable Effusion 2.1, and Dolly 2. The Dolly 2 can only be used with a premium subscription, although underneath it, you have a choice of sizes that you can use. They are only fixed with these six options, but if you have a paid plan, you get more resolutions as well as higher resolutions to choose from. Below that is the usual known guidance, C, F, G scale, and below that are the quality and details, which are usually called steps. On the free plan, you can use full quality for the first 50 images. After that, it is limited to 50, which is also the recommended number of steps. After that, you have a starting number, which you can either choose at random, or you can set your own spot or use a spot from another image. And below that, we have some limited advanced options that give you the ability to select only samplers. Then you have a choice for the number of images that you can choose from one to four images for simultaneous rendering. And below that, you can set it to a private session with only a paid plan. But there's a lot more to see here. One of the most amazing things on Playground is that when you click on your images, you can hide from other users, either download or delete. Also, when you scroll down, you'll see more images in the same style, so you can explore that style more and look at other hints and other images created by creators. People can also follow you, and of course, you can follow them. One thing I don't really like is that when you click on one of the finished images, there's no way to go to the draw function, phase restoration, or zoom in from here. So you have to download the image and then download it to do that. Again, I find that a bit cumbersome, but for now it's a workaround. So you can only change the image in the genre process. Hover your cursor over that image and take advantage of the extra features. For example, in drawing, fix some parts or replace parts in the image with a mask. You can use this image to go from image to image, which is very convenient. You can create variations of this image, phase, restore, and quadruple the scale. Now let's look at the pricing of this page. So you have a free plan, and that's actually enough for most people because you can see here right now, you can generate 1,000 images a day. This gives you a lot of leeway to experiment with stable effusions without cost and without using your own equipment. In addition, you can use all the images commercially. I think this applies to all the images on the page because the stable diffusion license is set up so that all the images you create with stable diffusion models are actually in the public domain. Then, of course, when you have a $1.15 a month plan, you can create more images without waiting in higher quality, and you have a permanent private mode. I can see that overall Playground is a pretty solid and very affordable and cheap service. I think a thousand images a day is more than enough for creative work. So, let's try to draw a drawing for a comic book based on a clue. For example, I'll take the Batman theme. We enter in the clue the text, Batman comic book drawing 2D, trending on ArtStation and other words. We also enter a negative clue so that we don't get an ugly result, for example, with two heads. Next, let's give it to him before a couple of generate an image of Catwoman in Coex style. She came out pretty good, but she has a problem with the eyes and the anatomy of the hand. So let's try her in Playtoon cartoon style. That's not bad either. I like the geometric style for Batman too. 
Next, we go to ChatGRT and write a request. Write a dialogue between Batman and Catwoman. And we get a ready-made short dialogue. Then we draw a scene in Photoshop and paste that dialogue. I think we got a pretty good result. What do you think? If you liked this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.